So today I just want to talk about attachment to things, to an object, a car, a house, a person, general attachment that we have, attachment to our mind, our emotions. Think about something that you are currently attached to. Let's talk about that and how we can let go. What are the benefits of attachment if it doesn't truly benefit our life? Most attachments people have are a hit of dopamine and it's only benefiting the ego. It's not because of yourself, it's because of the ego. And we have to remember to let go of the ego. It's not as easy as I say it to let go of the ego, but the ego doesn't have our best interest. The mind doesn't have our best interest. So let's say I want to wake up tomorrow and I have to take care of myself. I have to go and run 10 kilometers. Let's say that my mind, oh, Layla, just sleep. Layla, you're too tired. Nah, you know what? We won't do it now. We'll do it later. We have to remember that when we have those type of thoughts, we have to do the opposite. Because that's our ego. That's our mind. That's our natural state, which is not in our best interest. To truly deeply love ourselves, we need to let go of these attachments. It's not easy as I say it, so let's go here in small steps. Let's imagine something right now that you're attached to, whether it be eating unhealthy, being lazy and not taking care of yourself. So eating unhealthy, we have to look at that. So let's look at that. Let's visualize that attachment that you have. What are the benefits of being attached to that? All right, there are no benefits. It's just a hint of instant dopamine. So I eat something unhealthy, oh, it tastes good. 10 minutes after, boom, no energy. And it affects the rest of the day, the rest of my life. We have to look at your attachment, your addiction of unhealthiness and say, how is this benefiting my life? What is it doing for me right now? Is this thing truly taking care of me? Nah, right? We have to dissect. So this is the time to dissect and analyze. Because usually most of us, we know we're attached to something. We know we have those addictions. We're aware of it. Oh, next day, boom. We repeat it. Repetition. Just thinking about it, it's not going to do anything we're going to continue to deny it because our attachment is higher to us than just thinking about we are addicted to it, we are attached to that. It's that ego. Because our ego and our mind are not in our best interest. And so we have to look at that, really dissect it and analyze it and dive deep into that. Dive deep into the benefits of letting this go, letting this attachment go. Usually and mostly always, these attachments make you feel miserable, can make you feel depressed, can make you feel sad. You always need that. A little hint of happiness. We cannot be fulfilled and happy and we cannot be in joy from external objects, people. It's all within. And it's to overcome our mind, overcome that ego. You're going in, you're deeply analyzing it, you're focused on it, accept it. We are in this moment of accepting this attachment right now. If you were attached today, if you were attached yesterday, oh, but yeah, I've done this for months, I've done this for years, oh, I've smoked for years, oh, I've been attached to this person for years. But that itself, attaching yourself to the past, look into that addiction reflect on it, analyze on it, to accept it deeply, breathe in and breathe out, it will flow away. It will evaporate. That's the beauty of letting go of attachment. That's just the ultimate beauty. <laughs> you will really feel this immense amount of love deep in 
inside your soul but this is truly when you awaken to really love yourself on a deep level and i never understood how it was like to love myself so deeply i didn't know how that was possible it's when we just really look at it and analyze it say that a month has gone by and you know you're not watching this video this video has also gone by and you are attached to something you might not even notice you're attached to something but you you have these negative emotions and guess what negative emotions you're attached to those emotions the other way around to letting go of attachment is when you've had enough when you've had enough of this pain when you've had enough of being depressed, like, why am I doing this each and every day? How is this really benefiting my life? Why have I been doing this? You've gotten to a point where you are just sick of where you are and attached to this certain way of life. Being attached to someone who's not benefiting yourself. The day that you really sit down, take a deep breath, make clear space in your mind, from breathing and closing your eyes, you can let it go. You finally have accepted that you are not this pain. You are not what the mind identifies you as. You are not this ego that gives you these miserable feelings. It's just when we go on a deeper level, when you've truly had enough. But at the end of the day, no attachment, no addiction is really good for us. It's all about balance. Really looking at that and analyzing it instead of denying it every day. Analyze those feelings that you have, these negative emotions, because that's attachment. And truly, is this attachment gonna help us on a deeper level? Are we truly loving ourselves on a deeper level? That's really the answer to most problems in life that attachment and how to let go. So one is being still and analyzing, looking at how this is destroying our life and looking at the benefits of letting this attachment go. And two is when you've had enough. And so automatically you've let it go. And when you're in this stage, there is no past and no future. It's only now. <laughs> And then we can smile and laugh about it and just continue to enjoy each and every moment. <laughs> and when you're attached to nothing, you're in peace, you're in freedom. We just have to be comfortable with ourselves on a deeper level. Getting to know your soul, meditating. <sighs> Attached to nothing and connected to everything because we all come from the same source. You have to get used to feeling comfortable with being alone. When we die in the physical realm, we will be alone. But our souls will be connected forever. <sighs> so let's use this video to continue to grow and evolve. Because if we're not, then we're attached to something that is not benefiting our life. We don't identify with these attachments. We are greater than that. We are higher than that. When you have nothing but immense love for you and all around you. Repeat after me. I am attached to nothing. I am connected to everything. I am here in this present moment full of love, joy, wealth, abundance, peace, and freedom. Take care of yourself at strictlychosen at gmail.com. I love to talk to you. I love connecting with my infinite souls. Have anything you want to talk to me about, feel free. I'm here. I'm open and I'm ready for your words. I will only tell you the truth. So. Anything you have to say to me, I will give you the truth. <laughs> it all comes from within the same source. So you can also find your answers on your own otherwise. One love. Much love. Ciao, ciao.